Is this toy fall? Huh? Is this toy fall? Harvest Camp is um, is a camp. I like to. Um, I've been thinking about it really as sort of an as an exercise, and it's an exercise of um, treaty rights for the the um, for the tribes that live in ceded territory, and so um, it's it's right next to mining company land that's slated for destruction, and it's. Um, it's a way of reminding people that that they're here and that they have rights, the tribes, I mean, and that um, by exercising them, um, they'll get stronger and that and they'll stay. The Lake Superior Ojibwe Nation signed a treaty with the United States government, and as such, um, in in a government to government way, as sovereign to sovereign. People in the iron mining industry don't understand how this is, how the Pinocchi Hills are even in play at all because it's such a low grade of iron ore. U.S. Steel sold the land um, for basically real estate value because it was, it was such a difficult body to ore and it's so low quality and prices are dropping on the world market. What we're seeing is that there are people in Wisconsin who are desperate for someone to deliver jobs um, and that's how this governor, Governor Walker, was elected on a promise that Wisconsin was open for business. He promised 250,000 new jobs during his term and he hasn't delivered on that and so he's desperate to see this happen. Getting people to to think about their relationship to government, I think, and that the and that the relationship that the tribes have to this land is a relationship that was before the governments that we know of, know them were here. And so when you talk about reserved right, it's not something that Wisconsin gives the tribes or the federal government gives the tribe. It's something that they reserve for themselves because they had it before we were here. Um, so this bill aimed to say, no, you can't pass moratoriums. No, you can't protect the air quality in your communities. That's the job of the state DNR. At any rate, uh, a ho this Ho-Chunk legislator, David Greendeer, said, um, you know, this is our country. We've been here for tens of thousands of years. My uh, people and elders in my community know this land better than any scientist could ever know it. Um, we have stories here. We have, we, we know the quality and quantity of the land and water and we our culture aims to protect it and what he looked around the audience he said and what the rest of you people in Wisconsin are coming to find out now with this bill and others like it is that this is the resification of the entire state welcome to the reservation the rest of Wisconsin the state manages for sport uh, we manage for sustenance and so uh, in our cultural beliefs, we believe that these type of ceremonies have to occur, and in that way, then the natural resources will be strong in the future. These extraction companies, and when these horrible laws that shut out the voice of the people come to town, and they realize, oh, this affects me, yeah, that resonates. What we have now are people who don't care about getting voted in again, and so really, it's a broken system when that happens. It's 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 that you have people who will who will vote against ninety four percent of citizens testifying against a bill, and they'll vote for the bill. A lot of speculation is that Chris Klein and. Um, the larger uh, company that owns uh, Gigobic is looking at this as a kind of battle line to um, try to get rid of regulations that stand in the way of these kinds of investments that are made by 
companies like his. It's, it, it is the resification of Wisconsin. It's we are a sacrifice zone. Our people and our land and our water. We're a sacrifice zone for, for uh, multinational corporations.